Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today's video is for the full moon in Capricorn. The full moon in Capricorn is supposed to be a good time for emotions, romance, relationships, and uh, full moons and new moons are always a good time for new beginnings too. So we're going to tap into our sacral chakra, which houses our emotions and our expression. This is also supposed to be a good time for expression and our heart chakra, which is responsible for romance and our relationships. So let's go ahead and get started in a comfortable seat, whatever that feels like for you. And we're going to use the Lotus Mudra today. So to do the Lotus Mudra, you're just going to touch your thumbs and touch your pinkies. The rest of your fingers are spread wide and we'll hold our hands here at our heart. We'll start with some breath. So you can close your eyes or lower your gaze to the floor. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Another deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Good. One more deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. couple more breaths here preparing our minds and our bodies for this full moon in Capricorn practice we hope to open our hearts to release our emotions and to express ourselves another inhale Exhale, release the hands, sweep the arms up, inhale, interlace the fingers, press the palms towards the ceiling, sit nice and tall, reaching up, breathing up. Exhale, start to twist to your right, left hand outside of the right knee, right fingertips can face the wall behind you, looking over to the right or letting your gaze follow and looking towards that right shoulder. Inhale, come back up to center. Interlace the fingers, press the palms away again. Exhale, twist to the left. Right hand outside of left knee. Left fingertips can face the wall behind you. Looking over to the left or looking all the way over that left shoulder. Good. Inhale back up to center. Interlace the fingers. Press the palms away again. Exhale. Cactus the elbows. Bring the elbows in line with the shoulders. Open the heart. Inhale. Exhale. Let's release the hands down. Straight in front of you. And start to walk them forward. It's coming to this seated fold here and then stay up as high or come down as low as you like just folding down until you feel a stretch uh, take an inhale exhale walk the hands back Let's come up to hands and knees for Marjariyasana and Bidalasana, cat cow. And we're going to add in Balasana, child's pose. So spread your fingers nice and wide. Bring your shoulders over the wrists. Bring your hips over the knees. Eyes of the elbows are pointed forward. 
Take an inhale, start to flip the tailbone upward. Drop the belly down, lift the chin. Inhale, flip the tailbone up and away. Exhale, start to round the spine. Bring the belly button back towards the spine. Tuck the tailbone under. Bring the chin towards the chest. And then we'll float back towards child's pose. So just floating the hips back towards the heels. Take an inhale, come forward, back to cow. Flip the tailbone upward, arch the spine, lift the chin, inhale. Drop the belly down. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone under, bring the chin down to the chest, float the hips back towards the heels. Now let's do a couple more rounds. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat, and then down to child's pose. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat, and to child's pose. Uh, let's stay in child's pose for a little while. So big toes together, knees wide. Float the hips back towards the heels. Keep the hips lifted if you need to. Forehead, chin, or cheek can come down to your mat. Let your arms rest. Find an even breath in and out of your nose, if you can, that you can use throughout the rest of the class. Take an inhale. Exhale, look up in between the hands. Start to float your body forward, coming down to the belly. Keep those elbows tucked in tight, the hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, come up for cobra, keeping the elbows bent. Or you could come up for up dog, straightening the elbows. Uh, lifting the hips off the ground, chin parallel to the floor, shoulders engaged here. Inhale. Exhale, start to lift the hips up and back for down dog. You can always rest down on the knees if you aren't ready for down dog. We'll pedal our feet out here. Bending one knee at a time, getting a stretch in the legs and in the feet. And then when you're ready, start to extend the right leg up and back. Inhale. Exhale, float your body forward. Knee comes in towards the chest. Flex that right foot. Step it up in between your hands. You can also step the foot up from down on one knee if you need to. Rotate that back heel down. Windmill the left arm up, around, and back as we come to warrior two. So our right knee will be aligned over our ankle for Virabhadrasana 2. Front heel is aligned either with the back heel or the inside arch of the back foot. Arms coming out from the shoulders. Check the alignment of your arms. Palms facing downward. Once you check the alignment of your arms, bring your gaze over the first two fingers. Uh, from here, rest the left hand down very lightly on the back leg. Right palm flips upward. Scoop that right arm up and back, reverse warrior. Let your gaze follow the hand, maybe. Inhale. Exhale, straighten the front knee, bring the arms out wide. Reach forward with the right arm. Lower the hand down to the shin, the ankle or the ground inside the foot for Trikonasana, triangle pose. Left arm extends up, press back through this left hip. Looking up towards the left thumb for a challenge or down towards the floor if you need more balance. Inhale, Trikonasana. Exhale, left hand lowers down. 
Bring your hand on either side of that front leg for pyramid pose. So we're kind of squaring our chest with this front leg. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. If you need to have a bend in this front knee, that's totally okay. And inhale. Exhale, bend into this right knee. Come to a lunge position. Bring a hand down on either side of the right foot. Step the right foot back and come to plank. You can push straight back to down dog or move through a vinyasa. If you want to move through a vinyasa, we'll lower down halfway or all the way for chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, make your way back to down dog. Taking some breaths here before we repeat on the other side. Remember the breath in and out of the nose. When you're ready, inhale, left leg extends back. Exhale, left knee comes in towards the chest. Flex the foot. Step it up in between the hands. Rotate the back heel down. Make that line from heel to heel or heel to inside arch. Left knee over the ankle. Right arm extends up, around, and back for Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Arms coming out from the shoulders. Palms facing downward. And then bring your gaze in front of those first two fingers. Good. From here, we'll rest the right hand down, left arm scoops up and back, inhale. Let your gaze follow that left hand. Exhale, bring the arms out wide, reach for it with the left hand, lower it down to the shin, the ankle or the ground. Right arm extends up for Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Inhale in your trikonasana. Exhale, lower the right hand down, pyramid pose, padasanasana. Square your chest with this front leg. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, melt. And we'll take an inhale in our pyramid pose. Exhale, bend into the left knee, coming to a lunge position. You can bring those hands flat on the ground. Step that left leg back for plank. You can also modify your plank down on the knees. So pushing straight back to down dog or taking a vinyasa. If you're taking a vinyasa, chaturanga, halfway or all the way. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Good. Taking a couple breaths. If you need a rest, drop down to the knees. Now from here, we're going to move into that same flow again, but we're going to move more with our breath. More fluidly with our inhales and exhales. We'll take an inhale, extend the right leg back. Exhale, knee to chest, land the foot in between the hands. Rotate the back heel down. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale here. Inhale, left hand rest on the back leg. Right arm scoops up and back. Exhale, arms come out wide. Reach forward. Lower the right hand down to the shin, the ankle, or the ground. Left arm extends up. Inhale. Exhale, lower that left hand down, squaring your chest with the front leg. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, melt down. And inhale in your pyramid pose. Exhale, bend into the knee, come to a lunge position. Step that right foot back. 
pressing straight back to down dog or moving through a vinyasa. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. I'm gonna take a few breaths here. And do that on the other side. Inhale, extend the left leg back. Exhale, knee to the chest, flex the foot, step it up in between your hands. Rotate the back heel down flat. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale. Inhale, flip the front palm upward. Back hand rests on the back leg. Inhale, extend up and back. Exhale, arms come out wide. Left hand lowers down. Inhale, the right arm up, Trikonasana. Exhale, lower this right hand down. Square your chest with the front leg. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, melt down. Inhale in the pyramid. Exhale, come to a lunge position. Step that left foot back, come to plank. Move through your vinyasa or skip it. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Good. A couple more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, drop down to the knees. We're going to float our body forward and come all the way to the belly. From here, we're going to move into locust pose. Shalabhasana with the option to move into Dhanurasana, bow pose. So for locust pose, keep your hips nice and grounded here. You can separate your feet a little bit. Extend the arms behind you. Interlace the fingers behind you. Pull the fists away. Rolling the chest off the ground. Press the pelvis into the ground. If you like, you can lift the legs here. And then if you want to move into Dhanurasana, we'll bend those knees, grabbing the inside or the outside of the feet, whichever your preference. And then let those feet press into the hands, coming up as tall as you can. Inhale. Exhale, release. Good. You can stack your arms, rest your forehead down. Shaking those hips out here. From here, we'll bring the hands underneath the shoulders, elbows tucked in tight, pressing back to child's pose, big toes together, knees wide, pressing back to balasana, counteracting that back bend with this four fold. Good. When you're ready, take an inhale. Exhale, float your body forward. And then we'll make our way to a seat with our legs out wide. I'll face this way so you can see me. So bring your legs out wide. Flex your toes back towards you. Let's extend the arms up. Inhale. Exhale, lower the right arm down and extend that left arm up and over towards the right foot. So just reaching over towards the right foot. If you wanna grab your toes, you can, but it's not necessary. Lift your gaze up towards the sky as much as you can. Take an inhale, come to center. Exhale, lower the left arm down, reach that right arm up and over. Inhale, maybe you can lift your gaze. Good. Inhale, back to center. Extend those arms up. 
Exhale, bring the hands straight forward. Remember to keep those toes flexed, staying up as high or coming down as low as you like. Keeping a long spine here. Exhale, walk those hands back. Let's make our way down to our back. So bending the knees, bringing the feet flat. Scoot the hips close to the heels and then make your way to your back. Maybe hugging your knees into your chest. Rocking side to side here. Again, inhale, squeeze those knees in. Inhale, hold. Exhale, release to Shavasana. Arms rest at your sides, palms facing upward. Feet reaching towards the bottom corners of the mat. Or if you have a more comfortable position, or if you want to come to a seat, you can. Then we'll come back to those Long, slow breaths we used at the beginning of class. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Deep inhale. And exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. And come back to your natural breath. Releasing any control over the breath and allowing your body to fully relax. While you're here, I'll say some full moon and Capricorn affirmations to you, which you can repeat silently to yourself or aloud. I am deserving of love that feels good. I open my heart to give and receive love. I express my needs clearly. I am in control of my emotions. I am worthy of what I desire. Take a deep inhale, breathe in those affirmations. Exhale, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. And if you're laying down, you can roll over onto your favorite side. Let's take in a moment here to reflect on your practice. to revisit any of those affirmations and to extend some gratitude towards yourself for the self-care and self-love you've practiced here today. And 
when you're ready make your way up to a comfortable seat And together we'll sweep the arms up, inhale, let the hands meet. Exhale, bring the hands down to heart center. Namaste. Okay guys, thank you for joining me for this full moon in Capricorn practice. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about this video. Don't forget to check the links in my description box about my DJ channel, about Black Yogi Nico Marine merch, and also about joining my channel as a member. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. Peace and love.